Doctor, I've decided that I want you to inject me into Ivy's body. Hmm. Oh, no, Doctor, please. You can't do that. It would be far too dangerous. Be quiet. We can't be concerned with our own personal consideration. The life or death of the whole world is at stake now. I think you have the same idea in mind, Chi. It's such a good idea for you to go in there, Chi. It's brilliant. Oh, if we are to succeed, we must depart from the usual time-tested methods and proceed in a wave of dynamic and bold reasoning. It's absolutely vital to the success of this mission that I we depart from... I want to go, too. Oh, oh absolutely not. You've got to stay here in the lab and help us sort things out. I'll tell you this. If I can't go, then Chi can't go either, and that's final. Oh, well. All right. Oh, it's much more wonderful than I ever expected it to be. We didn't come here for a picnic. We have got to be serious. Oh, I don't care if we're supposed to be serious. I'm having fun. Who are you? Drop your weapons and come down here, right now! You've been completely surrounded. Drop your weapon or we'll be forced to kill you. Gee, he's on our side. He's one of the white soldiers. We've come here on a mission to help you, and I must insist that you take us to your king. You drop your weapons first, and only then will I take you for an audience with our king. Do it, Chi. I really want to get a close look at their place. Storm developed such a powerful weapon supply. This truly was a peaceful place, but now we're just like a candle in the wind. Your Majesty, the mighty warrior Samba stands beside you, so you mustn't be afraid. Yes, I know, Samba. You are a very great fighter indeed. Only yesterday I succeeded in killing those red soldiers, and if there is anyone in the entire universe who could defeat me, I don't know who it is. <laughs> uh, what are you laughing at? Do you want to get punched in the face or something, huh? What do you mean, universe? This is only Ivy's body. What? Stupid, you say? That'll be enough, Sandy. Sire. You must be polite with our guest, Samba. Please don't defame our knowledge of history and simple common sense. It didn't mean anything except we're on a mission. Karen. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, oh. Well, the universe is endless, so vast and wide, it is beautiful beyond anything imaginable. So tell me, which planet do you young people come from? I come from my home planet, Your Majesty. Home planet? Home planet? That sounds quite familiar. Tell me, where is this home planet located? Your Majesty must excuse me, but this is not the most important matter. You're quite right. I got carried away and forgot. Samba, tell me, are all the soldiers quite ready now? Yes, we have ten fighters ready now, sir. You only have ten soldiers? Oh. Yes, I'm afraid that is the case. They are all we have left now, other than children and old people, that is. But with only ten soldiers, how can we hope to break up the Red Star group, huh? I'm counted among those ten, so what are you worrying about, you coward, you? How dare you call me a coward, you fat toad? You, 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 you jerk! Stop that now, will you, Samba? Yes, sire. Now quickly gather the soldiers to help this gentleman. Yes, sire. During our journey, we lost part of our robot. Do you know where we might find it around here? Well, you lost it. Yes, and it is an extremely important part as well. I'm afraid it will be very difficult to find in this vast and endless universe of ours. Uh, yes, I know. Your Majesty, we really must go now. Farewell and good luck. I hope you defeat the Red Soldiers. All right, get back to work. What are you looking at, you lazy bums, huh? You get up and you get back to work. You better start moving now or I'll kill you right where you lie, you understand? Enough! Take him to the special treatment room. He's gone. Uh. 
Mistress returns. Yes, well. Have you prepared my bath the way I instructed you? Yes, mistress. It's already with perfume in it. Good. Now take these clothes and clean them. Ah, oh, I'm so tired. Take off my boots. Uh, well. What are you waiting for? Take off my boots. Yes, mistress. <laughs> oh, it feels great. <laughs> Damn, I hate this. I'm sick of it. <laughs> Oh, no, I've been caught by the camera robot again. Now what am I going to do? Oh. Here you are, mistress. So you're improving, you know, like white wine. Oh. You ever do that again, I'll bust your little pieces and put you in the melting machine. Now take these dirty clothes away and get them clean immediately. Do you understand, you stupid robot? Yes, mistress. <laughs> Even though I'm a captive at the robot to boost, how can I stand her insult? <laughs> you stink. <laughs> hey, robot. Tell me, how is our beautiful General Mary doing these days? I don't get to see her too often. Oh, I don't know why I shouldn't. And the strongest, the most handsome man in the group. She should be married, and I'm the obvious choice. <laughs> How's that? Excellent. Now, let's split up, go forward, and break through their perimeter. We're here to help you, but don't give orders to my men. I'll do that myself. All right, brave warriors, let us proceed with our attack. Number one, drop down and run to coordinates. Number two, drop down and run to coordinates. Number three, drop down and run to coordinates. Are you all right, huh? Gee! Bye, Pam! Bye, Pam.